Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today as a part of income tax, I have taken a very good interesting topic that is canons of taxation. Canons of taxation means generally any country before levying the tax or before framing the tax policies, they must follow certain rules and regulations. They must follow certain principles to make a perfect income tax policy. To make a proper policy for that they have to follow certain rules there are certain rules we call it as a canons of taxation so a set of canons of taxation which is introduced by adam smith adam smith he introduced certain canons of taxation Canons of tax means nothing but rules. So that is the guiding guiding principles before levying the taxes. They need to remember certain guiding principles. So which are framed by the Adam Smith. What are those canons? What are those principles? Means generally five principles are there. Five canons are there. So let us discuss each and every one. The first one is that canon of equality. Canon of equality. It means when you charge tax on people, you must remember that higher income group people and small income group people charge the tax accordingly, charge more tax on higher, higher income people because they are capable, they can able to pay the tax because their income is the, in such a way and whereas if you see the small income group people, their income is less so charge less. That is called as equality, canon of equality means charge accordingly, according to the income, according to the category of people you can charge. So that you are doing equality, you are doing justice to all kind of people. So this principle is very important principle, means it should not be burden on small income group people. Okay, To save those people follow this canon of equality. Second thing is that canon of certainty. Canon of certainty means there should be a structure, there should be a certain plans and there should be a clarity about income, income and tax policy. So what kind of tax policy we are following? It must be very clear, it must be definite and there should be clarity, clarity to the government and that same clarity it should be given to the taxpayers also, assessors also should have a good clarity about this. So that is saying by the canon of certainty, means there should not be any kind of misguidance, there should not be any kind of confusion. Second thing is that canon of economy, canon of economy which shows that when you are charging tax on people, whatever amount you are spending for this tax purpose, so that should be less. Economy should be when you are charging tax, when you are implementing the tax, when you wanted to follow this principle, for that pay less amount. Show the economy over there, do not spend much amount. When you are spending much amount, what is the use of collecting much tax? Suppose say, we received uh, say 100 crores of rupees as a tax, for that we have spent around 10 crores or 20 crores. For this tax purpose, there is not no use much. So that is why spend less amount for this tax policies. Your minimum amount is to be spent, not much. So that is canon of economy. Maintain the economy for this taxation. Next, canon of convenience. Canon of convenience means it must be convenient to all kind of people, especially in uh, developing countries like India. Most of the people are farmers and small traders only. So when taxation policy is introduced, these people get confused if we don't give clarity. So that is why it must be convenient to those people who are paying the taxes, especially at direct tax. Direct tax. So that is why. So they should have some easy methodology, easy payment of taxation and uh, they should have a clarity also what is their income and they are under which slab, how to pay, the, all these things. They should have a good clarity and there should not be any kind of confusion. 
it must be convenient to maximum people of the country so that is canon of convenience next one other canons of taxation apart from this what are the other canons of taxation means these so other canons under this which comes 1,2,3,4,5,6 all these policies comes under the other canons of taxation. What are the other canons of uh, taxation? Canon of productivity, canon of productivity, it is coming out uh, over. So canon of productivity means whenever you are the country is charging tax. So, whatever the tax amount is uh, collected, that amount should be utilized properly. That amount is for a specific productivity purpose. Some purpose means it should be utilized properly, then only you can say canon of productivity is there. Simply collected the tax a lot and not utilizing or not unable to utilize it or misusing and uh, it is simply collected it does not give much import it, it does not give much utility. So, that is why canon of productivity says when you collect the tax it should it should be used properly for the proper purpose otherwise no use ok. So, for productivity purpose collect the tax next one is that canon of simplicity. So, whatever tax is collecting that should be very simple and easy method the method should be easy it should not give much kind of uh, problem or much kind of attention or it is first and people are unable to understand the methodology is also very lengthy it should not be like that it should be simple canon of simplicity. Next one is the canon of canon of elasticity canon of elasticity means there should be some kind of flexibility say we have framed some uh, policy we have laid some income tax policy so that can be changed according to the need, according to the environment, according to the situation, economic, social, any kind of situations according to the need and requirement. Uh, suppose say there is a lot of uh, unexpected incidents happened like flood or earthquake or anything. So, that time you cannot charge much. So, there should be some flexibility. So, that is we call it as a canon of elasticity. According to the requirement you have to decrease or decrease that kind of flexibility or elasticity is must. Next one is that canon of diversity. Canon of diversity means uh, it should be uh, diversified clearly. Like uh, wherever possibility is there, this canon shows that charge the tax in different ways. Different ways you charge. So, this is one way, second way, third way. Means different policies, different ways you can charge the tax. So, that higher income group people we can just trap them we can just catch them so that is why you go for different ways of taxing the uh, ta ta framing the tax policies because to catch all kind of people all category of people from many angles we can catch them so that is canon of diversity second the uh, next one is that canon of expediency expediency says that uh, when you are framing the tax policy, you must remember all kind of factors. What kind of factors means especially socio-economical and then uh, political, geographical. So, all these factors you have to remember, Expedi social of expediency. So, according to that you have to frame the policy, simply blindly you cannot go uh, for laying of taxes all the time. So, expediency says that. Next to my last one is that canon of coordination. Who will charge the tax? As we have already discussed, most of the time central government and also some kind of uh, authority is given to the state government also. So, there should be here a very good coordination between the central government and also state government. Where there is a good coordination between central government and state government that could make a very good sense that could make a best tax policy. So, this is saying by the canon of coordination. Am I clear? Take the screenshot or note down.
immediately after this class please take out any textbook and refer the same topic it will be easy for you let me give you a recap so canons of taxation which means nothing but the guideline principles uh, before laying the taxation who have introduced this is by the adam smith total we have five canons first one is canon of equality canon of certainty economy convenience and taxation uh, other canons of taxation under this we have discussed five productivity simplicity elasticity diversity expediency and coordination that's all simple topic but it is very much important examination point of view and in the coming classes i am going to cover one or two topics then after that we'll enter into the practicals practicals of taxation so how to work out problems eagerly waiting i know so anyway please check out your play check out our playlist and whatever your syllabus is there whatever is matching in our playlist please use it and don't forget to share this videos stay connected have a wonderful career good luck